Hey guys, Backpacker Mike here. I am in Miami now, uh, just outside of Miami Shores, and I am at what's called the Ancient Spanish Monastery, and it is really cool. I'm going to go all the way inside soon. I'm just kind of walking down a little side road here because they have some photography thing going on over there. But anyway, uh, this ancient Spanish monastery was actually originally built in 1133 AD in northern Spain by King Ferdinand II, I believe it was. And he commissioned the building of it after uh, he had defeated the Moors in a great victory. Uh, and eventually, long story short, uh, it changed hands a few hundred years later, five, six hundred years later, and then eventually uh, it made its way. It was bought by um, Hearst, who was a big media mogul here in the States, and it was bought by him and actually dismantled because it was laying in ruins for over a hundred years. And it was dismantled and broken down into 11,000 crates. And he had it shipped, you can see kind of the outside wall here, he had it shipped to the States, to uh, New York, and it sat in a warehouse for 20-something years because shortly thereafter the Depression hit. And uh, I think it was a year after he died, uh, two businessmen from Ohio, the state of Ohio in the U.S., uh, purchased the 11,000 crates and had them shipped by boat down to the uh, Miami, uh, or no, it was Fort Lauderdale, I think it was. And then they took the 11,000 crates to where it sits now. And it took them 19 months, I think it was, uh, to reconstruct the entire monastery. And then eventually uh, it was sold to a, uh, a wealthy uh, business owner and philanthropist. I can't remember his name. And then he donated it to uh, the uh, diocese here. And now it's actually a functioning church and monastery. And so we're going to, and there's botanical gardens everywhere, uh, like you can see. And so we're going to take a little trip uh, through here and see uh, what we discover. But there's all kinds of artifacts here that came along with the, uh, along with the purchase. So there's uh, actually a Templar uh, Knight's uh, uniform uh, with the cape. Uh, there's a bunch of... Uh, chess and jewelry and a monk's cross that sat on the top of his staff and so it's uh there's a lot of cool things here you can kind of see i'll give you a shot of the courtyard here so that's actually part of the church that they reconstructed there and then this is part of the botanical gardens all the way over to there so we're going to do a little bit of exploring here's what used to be like a gothic uh, sort of wall piece that apparently <laughs> they couldn't fit back in so they're kind of uh, strewing about on different uh, podi or pedestals and things like that so uh, but it's pretty cool uh, it was actually featured in Time magazine I think in like 1954 as the world's largest uh, jigsaw puzzle to try to put back together <laughs> so here's some more here's the one of the outside walls And then the bell up there still. And all of this, all of this is actually original from 1133. And it was finished, I believe, in 1141. And it became an active church and monastery. So let's take a peek inside and see what we can find.
going into a little uh, chapel area that has a TV, but this is pretty cool. Not sure why the TV is there, but you can see the old uh, architecture. Old um, gorbals. And then the statue of Jesus. And I've been in a lot of churches in Spain and this is just identical of one of those. <laughs> More to explore. These are all like offices now, but at one time they would have been the uh, the places where the monks would have stayed in the monastery. Hey guys, so I just uh, walked through the majority of the monastery and went into the chapel and it's it's truly beautiful as far as the uh, the architecture and stuff like that. It's uh, it's located in North uh, Miami Beach and it's uh, it's ten dollars to get in and right now I'm just kind of walking around the grounds a little bit because they're doing like I said earlier they're doing a a photo shoot over there so I'm trying to stay out of their way <clears throat> but they have all this lush grounds that I just showed in a little bit in a little bit of the video earlier and you can kind of follow the paths around wherever you want and uh, this is also considered a heritage site And, uh, and then I'll try to get uh, some of the artifacts uh, that are inside the uh, main office up there too. The uh, Templar Knights uh, uniform and stuff. But it is truly beautiful. Uh, again, it's $10. It's in North uh, Miami Beach. Right off of, I believe, Federal Highway. And uh, it's a nice little find. So I'm trying to find different things. Uh, sort of off the beaten path in Florida and uh, this is one of them I sort of found and I also found out that this monastery was also uh, or has been featured in uh, several motion pictures uh, TV shows and documentaries so it's actually a lot more well known <laughs> than I thought <laughs> but probably because uh, film crews and stuff don't have to travel you know 5,000 miles to Spain to get a traditional architecture of Spain they can kind of do it right here so I think I'm just gonna sit down on the bench here and relax a minute kind of take in some of the scenery and uh, I mean it's really peaceful here the water fountain right here and you can just kind of relax and it looks like they might be done with the photo shoot now and then that's the actual, well that section right there is actually the uh, the church. And then over there is sort of like the courtyard and uh, where the monastery would be for the monks. And there's another arch when you walk in there. So it's a really nice, tranquil place. And uh, just another gem along the way. <laughs> so I guess I will end the video here. And uh, as always, let's experience this beautiful world together. And this is Backpacker Mike signing out from the ancient Spanish monastery in North Miami Beach.